Hey everybody, this is example number three for structural dynamics for damp-free vibrations. The problem statement that we have is for a viscously damp system, a certain vibration displacement is measured to be 80% of the immediately preceding amplitude within a free vibration trace, and we're asked to find the damping factor for this system. So if the displacement of this system is given by this, uh, by this figure below, what we're saying is that we've measured uh, a certain uh, displacement. Uh, the first one we call it x sub i, and the next one, x sub i plus 1, is equal to uh, 0 0.8 times x sub i. So for this system, we need to find the damping factor. Before we proceed to the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley's software and I can say that the software was very easy to use and the support that came with it was impeccable. Whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. Here's their website, it's Bentley.com. There's a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels. So please check them out. And now coming back to our uh, dynamics problem, the first thing we need to do is calculate the ratio of the two successive vibration amplitudes. And that's simply equal to uh, xi, uh, x sub i divided by x sub i plus 1. So 1 divided by 0 0.8 and that's equal to 1.25. Next, we need to calculate the logarithmic uh, decrement, delta, and that's equal to the natural log of the ratio of the two successive vibration amplitudes. So that's, that's equal to the natural log of 1.25, which is equal to 0.223. And lastly, now we can calculate the damping factor so the damping factor is equal to delta divided by the square root of 2 pi squared plus delta squared. So 0.223 divided by the square root of 2 pi squared plus 0.223 squared. And that's equal to 0 0.035. And also, uh, so we've, saw, we've solved the, for the damping factor. And just one more observation. So we can see that the system is going to be under damped because this is less than 1. So whenever you have um, this uh, z uh, zeta, damping factor zeta, less than 1, so that tells us this is under damped system, under damped. And so this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel, uh, like our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash engineeringexamples. And please visit the website. It's engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.